Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode we're going to play around with the moon. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a French photographer from the beautiful, the amazing city of Paris, France. But right now I'm traveling in the USA and I make one to two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file and this week is going to be some cool moons that you will be able to put in your landscape photos. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here. All right, mesdames et messieurs, let me show you this super easy Photoshop manipulation. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So in this quick episode, I want to show you a Photoshop photo manipulation, which I think is pretty cool. I have been, uh, I bought a 300 millimeter and I've been shooting the moon at 300 millimeters and doing this kind of editing, you know, in Photoshop. And I want to show you how you can do it for yourself. I think it's really cool. Uh, there was a lot of super moons recently, so I shoot a lot of super moon, and I'm actually gonna give them for free. So let's say that you're just starting. This is like your first Photoshop tutorial. Well, I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna go open, and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna give you all these four files. The first three files are gonna be moon that I shot with my Sony A7R2 uh, and a 300 millimeter, which you can then put in your own photo. And then this file called zoom.rrw is a Sony file also. I'm gonna double click on it. And because it's a raw file in Photoshop, it's gonna open it as a raw file. Now, I shot this photo at 300 millimeters so I can really zoom in on the top of a mountain that was in Zion National Park. Now, I want to give it a night fitting because I wanna put the moon there. So I'm gonna put the temperature a little bit to the left. Uh, I'm gonna lower the exposure a lot. Uh, I'm going to lower the highlights a lot because sometimes the moon comes early. You know, it's still daylight, but you know, it's not quite there. I'm going to add maybe a bit of contrast and uh, boost the black to make it even, you know, more uh, dark. Maybe even get the white to the left side. I don't want to have too much of this. I mean, you know, a little bit of light is okay, but not too much. Okay, and something like this. Okay, maybe even less exposure, voila. You just want to have the shape. So very fast, and now I'm gonna click. So when you have, you're, you're here, you can click on this option here. You see this little option? And you have the possibility to open in Photoshop as a smart object. Now, uh, I can make sure that's on, that can be pretty cool. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna click Done. Oh, uh, no, sorry, Open Object. So now that our file is ready, I'm gonna go to File, Open, and I'm gonna take a moon, I'm gonna take a moon, I'm going to take this one, the first one. This is the full moon, I like this one. Okay, now, you see here I have all my files in tabs, okay? This is different files that are open in tabs. I wanna take this moon and move it over to this file. So if you don't have it as a tab, just go to Windows, Arrange, sorry, Arrange, and you go to Consolidate All to Tabs. Okay, this, you will this. Now, for this tutorial to work, we need two windows. One is layer and one is property. And if you go here in Photoshop CC, you got different workspace. Uh, you got you know graphics and web and you know motion. I'm going to use 3D because 3D has the property tab and the layer tab, which is the two we're going to be using mostly for this tutorial. All right. So now let's take this moon and let's get it to uh, the other file. For this, you take the move tool, which is the first tool up here. Okay. You click on the moon and you hold on your mouse and you click on the file and you let go your mouse. You, and boom, the file appears here. Now you can see the file has some black around it. So if you put it into screen mode, this is different blending modes, but the one you're looking for is screen. Look at this. Screen is gonna take out most of the black, not completely, but most of the black. Uh, we can still see a little bit of the black but it, it did a lot of the job. Now the moon is already pretty big. Now this one I'm gonna cheat. I want to make the moon even bigger. So I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna to go to free transform or you can press command T, that's the most used tool. And then I'm gonna hold on the shift key and I'm gonna make the, the moon bigger and then I'm gonna move it even bigger. Okay. On this one, I like to cheat a little bit. You know, maybe put it here or something like this and press enter. So now the mood is there, but we still have a few issues to really make it that it's there. And I made this on purpose, so I would teach you a little bit about, about masking. First, let's do 
some of the masking. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go on the first photo here and I'm going to tag the here, this tool, which is the quick select tool. The shortcut is W and that's how it looks in Photoshop CC. You take the quick select tool and I'm just going to select here really quick. So now I have a selection of the sky. I go back on this layer and now I just click here on this icon and that's going to create a mask. But because I have an active selection, boom, it hides, uh, you know, the moon behind the, you know, it makes a mask here. Now, if you want to position the moon, you can, uh, but if you just take the move tool and click on the moon, it's going to do something weird like this, you see? So Command Z to undo in Photoshop, any mistake you do, you press Command Z. Now, the way to do that is you see here, there's a little chain. If I click on the chain, now I can move, sorry, Command Z, I have to click on the moon, make sure you click on the moon. But now that the chain is off and I clicked on the moon, I can move the moon around and the mask is still active. Okay, maybe I want to position it like this. Okay, but now we have an issue which is here. We have a little bit of, uh, you know, remaining of the black here. Well, that, that can happen even using the screen mode. So what you can do is you can click on the mask here and you take a brush tool so you can see black conceals and white reveals. If we look at the mask, you know, anything which is black is going to be hidden on that layer. Anything which is white is going to go through, right? So to see a layer, all I did is press the Alt key. I'm going to press it again to put it how it was. So now if I take a brush, Mesdames and Messieurs, if I take a little brush, B for brush, which is here, okay, uh, I make sure the opacity is 100%, that black is my foreground color. I can just paint here. Now you see, we can still see some of the white. So you have to right click and put the hardness of the brush at zero. So now you got a very soft brush. And now when I brush, you see all that white is going away. Okay, and I can make, if you want to make a brush or any tool bigger in Photoshop, you press the Control and Alt key and you click your mouse and you drag left and right. And I can just erase some of that white. I can keep some of it to make the, the moon glow. Uh, and voila, pretty cool trick. And now you got a moon. And uh, let me show it to you on a more complex photo. Uh, which is um, this one. This one is more complex because you will see the selection will be harder to do. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, let's take another moon. This, oh, I'm going to take yeah, another moon. I'm going to open and I'm going to take uh, maybe this one, this, the, the one I wanted to take originally. I'm going to take this moon. So same thing, I take the move tool and I put it over to the file and let go. Oh, the target document has different depths. That's okay, you just press yes. You don't care. All right, now this one, so remember, I'm gonna do the screen mode again. Okay, we still have a bit of issue with a bit of white, but that's totally fine. Um, but I want the moon, I want this part facing the other side. So I'm gonna right click, well, I'm gonna to go to edit, free transform, and I'm gonna hold on the shift key make my moon bigger. I want a big moon again. I want to cheat a little bit. Okay, but I want it to be reversed. So while you're seeing that tool, you can right click and I'm going to click flip horizontal. That's going to make it go the other side. And I want it here, maybe even bigger on the tree here, something like this. Okay, I'm going to press enter. Now, same thing, I'm going to unset like this. I'm going to go on this layer. I'm going to take the W for the quick select tool, but now we have an issue because if I select the sky, you see we have an issue with the trees there. I need the selection of the trees. Well, if only there was a tool for that. If you click here on select and mask, which is active when you do this, and you take the second brush, which is here, and you brush over the, uh, the trees, which are, you know, are close to the moon, they are gonna be selected. Anything which is white, in this case, is selected. It depends into what view mode I am. I can go in overlay, for example, anything which is red is gonna be selected, but I think on white on this one is pretty good or on black, you know, it's pretty good. So anything which is black is selected. That should be good enough, okay? You can just change the view mode. I'm gonna press okay. So now I got an active selection. While you have an active selection, I can put that layer back on and again, click on the layer mask and boom, it's there. Again, we have to do some correction which is fine. So remember, before a brush, remember the harness needs to be a zero. I'm gonna make it bigger. 
and I'm just gonna brush off the white that's remaining here and voila and we got a nice moon there and I show you one more trick if you want to make sure that the luminosity is perfect for the top of the bottom you can first click on the bottom and you go here to levels and this is where the property comes in now levels is very easy to use now what I like to do is I like to use a level per layer so I want this levels to only be active on this one so for this I'm gonna hold on the alt key and I'm gonna click here between the two layers and you see now we have a small error I'm gonna click here now that layer is that property that level is only gonna be applied to this photo so now you've got three sliders to worry about actually five sliders this one is gonna make your darks more darks so I might want to do that on this photo this one is gonna make the whites more white and this one is the middle color so I'm just gonna make this one a little darker and then I'm gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna click here I'm gonna to go to levels and remember if I start changing stuff now uh, because a level is on top of both layers gonna affect everything so I'm gonna hold on the alt key same thing I want this only affect this okay and maybe on this one I want to move this to the left to get my moon a little bit brighter uh, and yeah something like this a little bit brighter okay now sometimes you can have some little bendings here now one way to get rid of that is uh, you can go here onto the moon and because you know when you play around with blend modes and stuff like that you can I don't know if you can see on the screen there's little bendings when that happens you can go to filter you can go to noise add noise and on this one I'm gonna add not so much maybe like three percent of noise and usually that's going to take care of the bending that's there and voila so this is how I did this photo this is how I did uh, you know this photo and this photo and also of course you can use the moon put it much smaller into a, a landscape like this okay guys I hope you like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more of these free tutorials and every time I'm going to give you raw files so you can play around with it thank you so much and happy new year 2017 <music>